Hi, welcome to Fonet 5 videos. This is DC here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send card specific commands using ACR1281U dual interface reader writer. If you look at the documentation of this uh, specific reader writer, you can see commands that can read and write and few commands that can be used with the Mifair classic uh, cards like where you can you know authenticate using a key A or key B and where you can also do some some purse operations like uh, increment decrement restore and so on so however there are no mention about how to use some of the the latest cards like Mifair ultralight EV1 or intact 213 or ultralight C so all these cards, they, they do come with uh, special commands like authentication, verification, and counters. And in order to do these type of operations, you cannot just use a basic read and write operations. So somehow, the documentation does not mention how to do, uh, how to use these type of uh, cards. So what we finally, got to know is we can use the direct transmit command APDU with the following syntax and I'm going to show you now how how we you know we came to know that this command works so using this direct transit transmit APDU you can send any card specific command so with this you can use any Type A or Type B cards using this ACR one two eight one new writer. Now there is an example in the ACR one two two U reader writer on how to use this uh, direct uh, transmit command, and this is how we came to know that the direct transmit command does work with the with the ACR one two eight one new reader writer. So I'll be using the Mifair Ultralight EV1 tag in this video and the secret here is in order to have in order to make this uh, command the special commands uh, or the card specific commands for Ultra EV1 and Tag 213 you have to make sure the the reader writer auto pull mode is set to off. Now these are the documentation that we have seen in the previous videos so you can browse through this api documentation there is no mention about how to use the direct transmit command if you look at the documentation of acr 122u reader writer you can see the syntax or the api structure of the direct transmit command in fact we we found that this command does work with the ACR 1281U. So initially, I thought ACR 1281U was was not a uh, not a good reader because when I did my last video, I never knew that we can use the ultralight tag or intact 213 tag with the reader writer. But now, after we came to know the direct transmit command does work. So probably now, uh, looks like it's a very good reader because it has got both the contact as, as well as the contactless interface. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, the Mifra EV1 commands like uh, read count, which you know the documentation tells you what is the command structure. So it is the command 39 followed by the, the, the counter number so I'm not going to explain anything more more on Ultra EV1 because I've got so many videos. So these are some of the, the commands and I'm going to uh, show that they all work. So if you look at scroll down, there's a command for incrementing the counter with the command byte A5 followed by the counter number because the Ultra EV1 has got three counters as well as you can see how, how to authenticate the password and probably you, can, you also have a command to read the signature and these are the commands 
So with, with, with the help of this direct transmit command, it's so easy. We, you, we just have to send the bytes you know, from the documentation. So you still have to keep the, the APDU with FF or three zeros followed by any any command this can be a command of ultra dv1 or this can be a command from any other tag as long as you know the command bytes so you can use this air 1281u for that card so likewise the check trading event so we'll not worry about what this command does in this video we're just more concerned with the the command bytes and that you know you get a result there's a command called vcsl as well so with this background i'm going to show you how to do this you know with the uh, with the reader writer so in order to have this uh, card specific command working in this reader writer we'll be using this set automatic pick uh, pooling command where i'll be disabling while the while the while the card is used and i'll be enabling that uh, when you know when you activate the card because when you during the activation of the card you need the auto pulling with on so that the reader writer can send the atr uh, to uh, to this uh, pc so as you can see here i've connected my acr 1281u reader writer and the software i'm using is called acr 122u made easy so it looks like you know gradually i might have to change this uh, the title of the software because the same software which worked for ACR122U will be used with the ACR1281U redirector as well. So as soon as you, uh, or you know, you know that this particular device has got three interfaces, I'll be using the first one, the top one is the contact, and the bottom one is the SAM module, which is like a SIM size card that goes inside the device. So I'm going to use the contactless. So as soon as you use the contactless, at the bottom of the screen you can see this is the read version command I've used. If you look at the API documentation of this device, you can see there's a specific command to get the the reader firmware version. So that's exactly what I've used, and it says this version is uh, uh, five to six point zero zero. I'm going to use at present in the version one point eight. You got so I'm going to choose the Mifer Ultralight EV one. In this version and gradually in my in my later releases so you will have most of this card working so choose you know the Mifer Ultra EV1 and I'm going to place a brand new tag so if you can see here the reader has got a, a flashing a red light the documentation says so this means there is no contactless uh, card on the reader. I'm going to place a card. So you might hear a single beep sound. I'm going to activate and I'm going to, I'm, first I'm going to show that all the features of Mifra Ultralight EV1 works along with this reader writer. So I'm going to read the entire tag and Reading is not, it's, it's no different from, you know, uh, reading a ultralight tag. So no card specific command is used here. The card specific command comes from in the version here. If you say get version, you can see the version details are fetched. The, it, the 32 byte signature and you also got three counters. So I have already used these counters. I can read the counter, I can increment, say so increment by four phi, and you can also check for the for the tearing event. And likewise, you know, you can do the same thing for all the three counters. So it's the only difference here is the the counter number that's passed in the command. Now the other card specific commands here are the password authentication. So you know, all brand new cards come with uh, a default password of all FFs. Say authenticate, the authentication works, and you, you get the pack value. And all other uh, features, what you see here, 
they are all you know you can read and write using the basic the read and write command which the documentation uh, shows you know uh, it, it document clearly explain how to use it they are called the the read binary and update binary command so we have seen that everything works now next i'm going to show you know go through this uh, commands in detail so that is going to help you uh, write a software for acr122 u reader i'm going to place this uh, card again now if you can see here the this reader writer has gone into the auto pick uh, mode uh, which is uh, set to false so if you place a card you don't hear any beep sound so you have to keep this in mind but the software does this automatically as soon as you choose the mifer ultra dv1 and activate so a command is first sent to enable the auto pulling so that you know it, it gets the the tag uid then if you look at here the very first command is to set the automatic pick pulling on so this has to be on so that you get the uid of the tag so after that you got a uid command then once you know you got the uid i know the tag is activated i know there is a tag on my reader writer now i'm going to set this to off so you don't have to off if you are not using any of this uh, card specific command so if you if you're doing a just read and write operations you don't have to worry about this command you can see the working of uh, the get version the get version command so it says i'm using the direct transmit command and the syntax is ff all three zeros followed by the zero one and and this is the the data so if you have if you have read about the apdu uh, structure you know there are four uh, types of apdus that's uh, the case zero case one case two case three this this corresponds to where you pass the length of the command followed by the the command bytes itself so before that you got uh, it's a header which is called the ff which is the class the zero zero which is the instruction the next zero which is the this is the ins and this is the cla the class and the next zero zero this is the parameter two and this is lc lc is the length of the command bytes with zero one and these are the command bytes so when you send this uh, command to the reader you get the full response followed by nine zero 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 so this is exactly what has happened here so when you click this uh, get version you can see that it uses a direct transmit command likewise i'm going to use uh, get ecc again here if you look at the documentation it says uh, the get signature command is 3c followed by 00, zero. because there are two bytes in the command the length of the command is two bytes and you get a 32 bytes and which is what you know you see here likewise if you want to uh, read the counter click on it read if you look at the command structure it's a read counter using again the direct transmit command and you just you just have to you know refer the documentation and get this uh, command bytes so 3900 is what what we saw in this uh, documentation I'm just going to show you just one command the read command here this is a read counter the 39 followed by 00 so likewise increment command is uh, a5 followed by the the counter number followed by the value you want to increment i'm going to try that here increment by i think this is the hex 10 right invalid uh, pointer number sorry there's something wrong here enter a positive number not sure 45 so this could be a, a glitch here so 
what have what I have seen in, the, in this particular reader is sometimes um, the the reader loses connection or connection with the attack. I think that could be the reason. Yeah. So try to read. Yeah. So now we're able to write it. So the read zero works and. The way the incrementing is done here is I'm going to increment, you know, before that I'm going to clear these commands. So increment with the one zero, right? If you look at here, the increment command is uh, a phi zero one zero a, and followed by the three. Actually, the the data, the the value of the increment is sent as uh, four bytes. So the lc data is six bytes which is what in this lc so the good thing about about you know the one thing i liked about this command is first time i'm ever saying uh, you you get a acknowledgement byte zero a so if you look at this uh, documentation the increment so if the increment successful you get ack command ack byte if you look at this uh, table 10 here, the ACK byte is uh, A. So I've not seen you know, in many uh, reader writers uh, this type of output. So when you use this command, probably you can check for 0A to, to make sure the increment is a success. Any number which is not 0A, you can treat that as an error. After that, I'm sending a, a read command so just to make sure the write is successful. So the next is the password, password authentication, the default password. I'm not going to show you the write or change password because that's just a normal standard write operation. So to authenticate, here the authenticate command, if you look at the documentation, it is a 1B followed by the password and you get two bytes as uh, the pack value so authentication works as well and I'm going to show you in a simple basic write operation probably I'm going to write in bulk I'm going to write from page number say page number four onwards I'm going to populate this with the CD Oh, it's not X, sorry. It's a text. A, B, C, D. So, write. So, all these bytes, if you look at the command structure, these are the standard PCSC update binary command. Now, these commands are explained in the documentation, so this, there's nothing to explain about this here. So, that is all I've got in this video about ACR1281. So we'll try to make make you know uh, changes to this software so that you can use uh, most of this uh, tax. Okay, thanks for watching.